last script for the module. Let's work on script 6a. In the script 6a now will teach you how to compute area. We have not yet learned how to compute area in Earth Engine because that's not a simple topic. This requires uh, knowledge of map reduce and how to do some statistical operation in Earth Engine. We already learned that in the previous model, so we are ready to see how Earth Engine computes area. So let's see uh, script 6a. Earth Engine has two distinct approaches for doing area calculation. If you have a feature correction or a geometry, you can use the vector area calculation. And then if you have images, a classified image and you want to compute the area of each class, you can use the raster area calculation. In many software that you might have used, uh, there's only one method. All the rasters are converted to a vector and then you use the vector calculations. So many times I've seen code in Earth Engine where you have a classified image, people will re run reduce to vector, create polygons, and then try to compute the area. Do not do this in Earth Engine. Earth Engine has a specialized raster area calculation method which is run in parallel, which is much more optimal. So if you can compute area for large rasters, use the raster data calculation method. Do not vectorize your data sets. But if you have geometries and you want to compute the area of that, you can use the vector computation method. So in this case, we have our world cover classification for a basin. And let's compute some area. So first, we have this geometry representing a basin. Let's compute the area of that geometry. So we have the variable geometry. So to compute the area of the geometry, we can use this function called area. We'll say geometry dot area. When you run the dot area function on any geometry, the output is always in square meters. In Earth Engine, area calculation is always in square meters. So this basin is this many square meters. Typically, we would, uh, square meters are not used when you have talk about area of large basins like this. So we can convert it to any other uh, unit. So let's convert it into square kilometers. So we can say divide 1e6. This is divided by 1,000 by 1,000. And we now have area in square kilometers. This basin is 4178.032 square kilometers. Simple and easy. One of the big problems you'll see in Earth Engine is if you try to do some analysis in ArcGIS or QGIS or R, and then you say, I've done this, let me implement this in Earth Engine. When you start to implement this in Earth Engine and you check your area, it'll be different. They will not match because Earth Engine uses a different area calculation method than all other software. But if you want to make sure that you are using the same method as other software, you can use the different uh, parameters for the area function. So if you want to compare the area calculation from other software, you must specify a projection. Let's see how to do this. So I'm going to take the same code here. And now we'll look at the area uh, function. It has got two parameters, max error and projection. Let's specify these parameters. When you are specifying projection, Earth Engine will reproject your data into this different projection. The way Earth Engine does the reprojection, you need to give some tolerance, a non-zero tolerance, for the projection to occur. So you can set this to be a small number. You can just say one meter. So in such a large area, I will tolerate up to one meters of projection error. You can also set it to be like a very small number, 0 0.1 meter. It's always in meters. And while reprojection, you, know, you need to specify projection. Let's specify a UTM projection. So this region falls into UTM zone 43 north. And this is the UTM code for this, the EPSG code for this projection. So now, when I run this code, this function will compute the area into this UTM projection, and you can see this answer. You can see the difference. Earth Engine default algorithm says 417 square kilometers. This one says 4166. 
but this is in the routine projection. Now, if you use QGIS or RTS or Python, and you use this projection to compute the area, you'll get exactly the same answer. So typically when I work on projects and I'm starting to take somebody's implementation and do this in Earth Engine, the first step would be I will use the projection and implement this so I can verify my answer and say, hey, this is the answer that matches and it works correctly. Then you can say, do you want a more accurate answer? Earth Engine uses a, a different method based on spher spherical calculation, which they claim it's more accurate. But again, it's not documented. The algorithm is not public how they use it. So if you say, I want to use a method which can be reproduced in another software, specify a projection and our answer will match. If you do not, Earth Engine will use its own algorithm and you get an answer which is slightly different. Questions on vector area calculation. Let's learn about how the raster area calculation works. We want to compute what is the area of water in this basin. We know that the total area basin is this many square kilometers. What is the surface water area? So let's compute the area occupied by the water pixels. First, we'll select the water pixels. So we'll say this is bulk hour data. So we'll select all the pixels with value 80, which is the class for the water pixel. And now we have a binary image. So we have a binary image and we can now compute the area of that. So let's just visualize this so uh, you can kind of visually see what we are trying to compute. So what we want to do is compute the area occupied by all the blue pixels within this polygon. The way it is done in other software is you take all the pixels for each class, compute the area of each pixel, and then sum all the areas. So if you try to do this in ArcGIS or QGIS, you will say, I will take each pixel, compute the area of each pixel, and then count how many pixels are there in the image, and then multiply the area of each pixel with the count of total pixels. In Earth Engine, it's the same concept, but implemented using reducers. Because in Earth Engine, we want to do this at scale. We want to divide this into tiles and do this in parallel. So in Earth Engine, when you want to compute the area, you first have to compute the area of each pixel. So first, let's compute area of each pixel. We'll say, take our water image and multiply it by this function called eimage.pixelarea. This is a function that is designed to give you the area of each pixel in the image. We have a water image, which is a one and zero. So remember this water pixels are one, other pixels are zero. When you multiply this one zero image with this image, which is the e image pixel area, the output value will be the area of each pixel. Wherever there's a water pixel, it'll be the area of the pixel. Wherever there's non-water, which is zero, it'll be zero. So the first step, we use the e image pixel area function to compute the area of each pixel. And now we have each pixel with the value of its area. And we sum up all the pixel areas. So how do we sum up all the pixel areas within this particular basin? Well, we'll use our reduced regions. So we'll take our area image, run the reduced regions function. And what reducer should we use? We have each pixel with the area of the water pixel there. We want to create the total area. So we'll sum up all the values. Geometry is our geometry. Scale will be 10 meters. And since it's a pretty large region, we should specify max pixels and tile scale as well. This function reduce region also has a CRS parameter. If you omit the CRS parameter, you'll use Earth Engine's algorithm to specify CRS parameter, you'll use the area calculation in the projection. The output of this will be a dictionary with it's a one band, so it will be only one value with the value of the area of water pixels within that. Remember the important step here is this, where we had this multi-class image, we selected all the water pixels, we had a binary image. It's important we get a binary image first before we multiply this with the pixel area, and then the value of the pixel will become area of the pixel, we can sum it up. 
you can see this is the value of the particular water pixels in square meters. The key here of this dictionary will be the name of the band. The ESA world cover band is named map. That's why it's called that. So we can just extract that. Say, give the value of that map and divide by 6. And this will give us the total water area in square kilometers. Question is, should we always start with a binary image for area calculation? To understand the concept, internally, yes. So internally, Earth engine would need a binary image to perform this classification. If you have a multi-class image, Earth engine provides you with a way to do this in a single step. This is called a grouped reducer. So instead of creating those, if you have 10 classes, instead of creating 10 binary images and computing this, you can directly use the group reducer. The code for this is available in your supplement. In supplement, there is a script calculating area by class. Here you have this four class image and you can say, do the same thing. Take this multi-class image with the pixel area, but you add it as a band and then use a group reducer. And that means you can directly get a chart like this, you know, area, what is the area of each class within this particular region. So group reducer will allow you to do this in a single step, but conceptually to understand this, it's doing that. It's basically taking an image, masking everything else, taking those pixel values and calculating area of each pixel and summing it up. 